Weavers have the Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. You have the Magician, Eight of, excuse me, Seven of Pentacles, uh, Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Six of Swords, and last but not least, you have the Five of Cups. Okay, so. Anybody who's super hesitant to be with you, it's a dub. <laughs> Had to say it with my side mouth. It's a dub. Because um, the Five of Pentacles is about like uh, you moving away from anybody who's super scared to be with you, take a chance. A lot of people don't really want to take relationships uh, into consideration. It's a risk just like a lot of other things are risks. But because a lot of people don't want to grow up and understand that it is a risk like other things, what happens is, is that people oftentimes, they wanna hog what they have, if they have a lot or a little bit, they wanna hog what they have because they don't wanna take a risk on anything or anyone. And this is what stops them from doing the things that they want. It's called analysis paralysis. They don't want to ever uh, take a chance with someone that they like, right? And because of this hesitation, a lot of you Libras understand what it looks like when someone is, is you know, caught in analysis paralysis because a lot of you Libras get caught in a, in a lot of or you used to get caught up in, in, in a lot of analysis paralysis because you Libras, a lot of you Libras need to get inspired in order for you to start and finish big projects. And this is where, this is part of the reason why Libra and Aries are the exact opposite signs because you know, you Libras are air, but at the same time, air is kind of a, 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 a air is a wet, element just like water is a wet element the dry elements are fire and earth but you being a wet element you can be you can also be damp you know because of that moisture you could be damp so what i mean when i say damp i mean down in the dumps right scared to move forward right not really just as pessimistic and not think and thinking that you know your ideas are stupid right when you're uninspired but and see, this is part of the reason why you Libras are the exact opposite of, of Aries, because Aries represents that spark, that, that enthusiasm of not being bored, feeling inspired, having that energy of, yeah, I want to do this. Let's actually do this. And then now, if you direct, if you direct it correctly, actually go about handling that business. And then you're like, wow, I can't believe that I actually did all of this, right? I, I actually did all, all of that stuff. So now when you translate that same kind of energy into a relationship, now you're, now you're thinking the very same thing where it's like, um, this is a situation for you now where anybody that isn't going to show, put in an effort because they're still, they still have the mentality of, well, the reason why it is I haven't put in an effort yet is because I need to spy on you and pay attention to what you've got going on. That's a dub. That's a dub. That's a total dub because a lot of you Libras understand there's never a chance. There's never really a point where they're really ever going to do that. I don't know if you Libras know, but that's a game, really, because there's never a point where these people will ever actually show you who they are. Because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with those or, or what happens with those people. Those people who are camping out, who are spying like that, they're coming from the perspective of, well, I'm I'm shut down like this because I need to see what you're doing. And if you're really being serious with something. And then once I find out that you're serious with, with something or whatever the case may be, now it's a situation where um, now they're gonna try to create some sort of um, issue 
for you and, and them to essentially break up where they can't actually reciprocate now. And what I'm going to tell you what happens with those people in the future, if they keep doing this long enough, they don't they usually don't have anything to contribute. And even when they do have something to contribute, they still don't. Even if even if they have a great capacity to contribute back. So now the uh, the magician is about you're, you're using your higher forms of, of, of understanding, your higher forms of wisdom. It's not just the more, really more so understanding. It's not just, it's not just, you know, getting caught up in that particular situation where it's only about you showing what you can do and, and actually doing that. Now it's about if the person does not make you, if the person is not inspired themselves to give and reciprocate in the relationship, it's not going to be a very long lasting one. You Libras will most definitely leave them alone because it's about two people that actually give and take. So how can it have any kind of hope to really be in a relationship if the two people who should be giving and taking only one person is giving and the other person is, is just taking. Right? And a lot of you Libras understand that you now have a, a responsibility to make sure, to make very good sure that those people better be aware that they need to, to give as well. Because Libra, Aries, Leo, y'all are zodiac signs that give, but the person better be able to reciprocate. But this is the higher expressions of Libra, Leo, Aries. Because when you don't know this, what happens? People will take and take and take and take and take until you literally don't have much to give and be okay with what it is that you give out, but they'll still be asking. But then you have the Seven of Pentacles. Again, them trying to take. I got a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> them trying to take. Them looking at you as one thing, right? Whatever it is that they can get you for or running that game of they need to see what you're capable of first for them to become comfortable so that they can start to show you. Everyone starts out like that where you don't want to do too much immediately. But over time, you should be able to give more profoundly as the relationship and the trust builds. This is why I was talking about how value can only be understood in time because people want you, right? People who are running game, they want you to, to just run your pockets. They want you to set them. They want the first date to be at the Marriott Hotel or up at Rock, or you to stay at a hotel up at Rockefeller Center, getting room service and all this other stuff. And it's like, do you know how expensive that is? And that's just the first day. And you don't even know these people. They want you to take them to Ruth Chris and 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 Steak Forty Eight and all the Papa Do's and all of these high fancy places and all this other type of stuff, right? To each their own. And this is just the first day. And they, and, and they don't have the mentality of that stuff comes in time. What they'll do is, is that they'll have the mentality of, well, if you can't take me to Papa Do's or Steak 48 or Ruth Chris or any of that type of stuff, then how can I trust you to know that you're financially stable and all this other stuff? And it's like, you're think and it's like those people, Libra, they're thinking way too transactionally, way too transactionally because... The, this is why it is that I was writing about it in my in my book that I'm coming out with. Every relationship should start off low and boring. And if the relationship starts off high and on the top of the mountain, more than likely it's not going to last. Because you already getting that rush, that adrenaline rush, that excitement immediately. So guess what's going to happen? downhill it has if it's going to 
last for a long time, if that rush, if that excitement is going to be for a long time where you and the person keep getting excited about being with each other, has to start small and then get more and more exciting and 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 um profound as time goes on grow can never start from up here and it be successful has to always start from here the minute it starts from here immediately forget it it's a dub but then you have the um the queen of swords and the queen of swords now represents um but you're prepared for this when they try the knight of wands when they try to pull that on you the Ten of Pentacles, like I said, they'll try to get so many different things out of you. They'll try to run your pockets. They'll try to get anything that they possibly can, right? Or because this is something that's, this is, this is something, somebody done happened, something done did something, but this, this is what happens. This is what's happening to you right now, Libra, where you're dating and people right now are trying to like get stuff from you and you know what I mean? And, and get all this, you Libra, shelling out of cash. And a lot of you Libras are just bored. A lot of you are just bored because you're providing. They want you to provide the Ten of Pentacles. They want you to provide. They want you to provide all of this stuff and provide all of this but then what are they bringing? What are they providing? What are they offering up? What are they giving back? Dub. <laughs> That's what they're giving back. Dub. They're, they're low-key dubbing you because, because they're not contributing anything while they're not, right? Because they're not contributing anything. Even though they're not contributing any, anything, they want you to contribute the Ten of Pentacles. They want, to want you to contribute everything and if not everything that you have almost everything almost everything you got your money your heart your time your effort your resources your assets everything or if not everything close to everything almost a shirt off of your backs libra it's a dub it's a dub and then you have the the eight of wands Nah, you Libras will, will know when to call it quits. You Libras will tell the people, nah, I'm good. The Six of, of uh, Swords. And this is going to have a lot of people giving you some serious problems. Because when you start to open up your mouth and speak to the situation and let them know that you're not going to just, you know, give them everything you have and that you need to see some form of effort on their part, that's when some people are going to act like they're stupid. <laughs> I don't think they're acting, but that's when some people are going to show you just how stupid they are. They're going to want to, you know what I mean? They're going to they're going to have the the lack of integrity. They're going to try all types of skullduggery to make it seem like you leavers should be providing for them. Maybe you have more money than them. And it's like, come on, everybody has the ability to give at whatever their capacity is, even if you are a vagrant and you happen to make something. There's a there's a person that I know up the street from me. A little bit kind of you, you have to travel, but it's not too far. It's not too, too far. But they are a vagrant. They're homeless and they're very creative. They end up making these these little these little uh, art pieces from little like pieces of of like. Pieces of like. Um, like foil. And, and, you know, they sometimes give it away for free and they're homeless. And that type of charitable nature, you understand what I'm saying? That type of chair, and, and, and you can hear my voice how it is that that, that that hits home because that type of charitable nature, that I can't even call it charity, that type of nature for a person to give their last that's the type of person that deserves the entire planet without exception and there's no debating that because there's people who have financially more than that person and they're so scared to give and yet you mean to tell me a person who's homeless will give more than a person who has financially even more that so the last time, the last time I was there, me and my mom just 
shelled out some cash because it, it, it only it only the person the homeless person was either giving it away for free or charged a dollar and was just trying to make sure that they had to eat that day and i'm saying all that to say that with all of these games that people play you libras shouldn't be playing with people that that you know it's not that they don't have the it's not that they really are falling on hard times and they just need a minute to 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 really catch themselves because they're they're down and they're down bad and that they just need a minute to get up and they're really going through hard times and you can be compassionate because they're being very truthful and upfront that yeah they're falling on hard times you understand what i'm saying no it's a situation that's different people are trying to use you <laughs> because they're, because it's not that they don't have they're scared like i said to show you what they're made of because they're excuse me they're wondering about what if you're running game on them what if you are you're still shelling out everything anyway so what if you was running game so how would it benefit them any less for them to put in a little bit of effort considering the fact that you Libras are giving everything to them or you, I ain't gonna say everything but you but because that's what the reading goes against but you Libras are giving so much to them anyway you put in so much effort right the five of cups this is this is the dub this is the mentality of how they expect to be in a relationship but what they're not contributing so let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the Five of Cups. <laughs> I'm over here. Wait, I'm over here trying to shuffle up these cards here. Yeah. All right. So to clarify the Five of Cups, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Magician, Three of Pentacles. Again, you already have the Magician. Look at that sweet gold. Oh. Anyway, the uh, the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords represents, yeah, when you realize that someone is acting like that, it's time to get back to being single. Dub them, keep it pushing, because in all intents and purposes, that relationship, if this thing would turn into a relationship, it's just going to be more of the same. The Magician and the Three of Pentacles, you leavers are very much so covering your six. You're watching, you're looking over your own back. You're you're looking out for yourselves. You're you're very aware of the type of games that people can play. Three of Pentacles, you'll continue to date. Oh, for sure. Y'all are air signs. Y'all are not easily broken. But you'll be you'll be you're aware of the type of games that people are running. And I will say that it's gonna be very interesting to see how they're gonna run game on you because you're making it that much hard for them or harder for them to run game on you when you're so aware of what's going on. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers, please. I'm at 6,960 subscribers. Smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.